And there's another example of another all-American activity, NASCAR racing. There's a promising young driver named Roger Carruth. Roger Carruth. Oh, Roger Carruth. Roger Carruth. Tell us how you came about Roger Carruth. My parents are on their way home, or they're gonna take me to uh, take me to Autobahn out in Jessup. First career race, I'm eight, showered, you can see. And um, yeah, so should be fun. Now we'll see y'all at the track. My ultimate goal is to be a cup champion. I want to be the best. I don't want to be, oh, first black driver to win a race or first black driver to make the playoffs or any of that. Just trying to prove to myself that I can drive. In five years, hopefully, be in, in a truck somewhere or maybe a Xfinity car. Roger, the next thing coming. He's the next big thing. I asked you, Raj, I said, what do you want to talk about? And you said, my dad, why do you want to start there? I mean, we've been having stories running about our, our journey for the last three, four years, and all has been about me on and off the track, but it doesn't talk about what happens behind the scenes. It, it doesn't happen without dad. Raj is the next thing coming. He's the next big thing. Anything to say? Very special day. Exciting, very exciting. Special race, but treat it like a regular race. What he said. I So we moved, we moved to D.C. when we were, when Lee and I were both in elementary school. And we went to J.L. Wilson, and then we went to Sue House in middle school. And we both went to school at Walls. There was a big difference between going to Walls through, through the high school years to now being at Winston and being a junior. From me developing as a young man, physically, mentally, and emotionally, to professionally being gone from being a high school kid to being having to be a professional in my balancing in college and racing is probably one of the hardest things that I've had to kind of work on so far in my life. Just understanding the responsibility I have, the things I have to do on a daily basis, um, but also maintaining you know my my mental and maintaining who I am as a person. I do get recognized on camera from time to time, but it's not really weird. I'm, I'm a normal student, so it's never really a problem. Being back home in DC is, is great. Yeah, it's somewhere at the third place in my is, is awesome. This is where kind of where I grew up, you know, going to Sherwood down the street and taking the train at Elton and Union Station. Uh, to be back here is it's awesome just because I have a lot of great memories in DC from again taking the metro places to playing basketball across the, the area and on the track meets, uh, supporting my teammates and fellow high school students in other sports. So I want to bring members here and really the city is shaking into who I am now professionally going across the country. I love the 990s. The, 9, the great 990 is the DC shoe, I would say. <laughs> Next question. <laughs>